Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to Sims Workshop. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So, this is my October TBR video. Am I setting myself high? Yes, because I read 16 books last month. So why wouldn't I set my goal high? First, I'm going to start with my book club readings. Um, as you know, I do two book clubs. I am a Barnes & Noble employee. So at my store, I host the Young Adult Book Club. So if you're in Fort Lauderdale, you want to join. We are reading Curious Tides, and first of all, I just want to quick thank you to the publisher. I asked them, like, hey, I'm the host at the store. Would you be so kind as to send me an ARC so that I could read the book? And they did. And not only did they do that, they sent me foil <laughs> tattoos for the book club. And they also did this nice handwritten note. I've never gotten a handwritten note from a publisher. I get ARCs from people, you know, and publishers. That was the sweetest thing. So thank you, Simon and Schuster. Thank you for this book. Thank you for the note. Thank you for offering to give, you know, my store and my book club, the young, the Barnes Noble Young Adult Book Club, you know, foil tattoo stickers, which are really pretty, by the way. Um, so yeah, if you want to join, um, we're going to be meeting October 30th in store. Um, just follow Barnes Noble social media for all the other details on that. I will, of course, include links in the description below. Um, next, we have my virtual book club my virtual book club everyone voted is the final girl support group I, this book has been on my tbr for ages so i'm really excited for it i'm really happy everyone voted for this one um especially because i'm a huge i love horror movies i just made my husband watch a bunch you know hellraiser wishmaster the crow he's never seen any of these I've made him see all the Scream movies and all the Nightmare on the Elm Street and Friday the 13th movies because I love them all. Oh, and Halloween. And I've, I've also seen... I've seen a lot, okay? <laughs> I like horror movies. I really do. <laughs> um, in any case, let's get on with it. I do have a bunch of audiobooks that I will be listening to. I've already started um, Little Thieves. I actually started that one earlier today. I'm already about 20% through with it. Um, there are two more books, Sisters of the Lost Nation. These are books I got from the library, so I am going to try my hardest to read them. And a Laura Sebastian book that, for some reason, I'm blanking on the title of. So that's three audiobooks that I've got right there. And then I also have my two, um, I don't have physical copies, I only have e-arcs of them. On my two 30-page a day reads are going to be Ever Since, which I've already started reading. Woo! Man, I can already tell you, it's a book I wish I had read in high school. And then I'll break all the pretty kings. That's going to be my next 30-page a day read after I finish ever since, which I'm already about 44% into that book. So, those are my two 30-page a day reads. Now, let's go on to my weekly reads. I've already started this one. Everyone's thinking it. Already went ahead and started that one. You can see I'm already right here. So, you're not supposed to die tonight. Really excited for this one. Four found dead. These are all arcs that I've got in that. I'm finally getting around to reading. Um, the salt grows heavy. This one is super short, so hopefully this one I can just, re you know, bam out in a day. <clears throat> Liar's Beach. Tell me what really happened. Again, I, I think I've started this one before, but my TBR sometimes changes. I'm really excited for this one because it's told through first-person police interviews. So it's not even like a regular format. Magic by any other name. I recently got this one in the mail from a publisher. And then this one, which let me tell you, this is a creepy cover. Too scared to sleep. Tell me this is not a creepy cover. And I'm, I'm, it's sleep, it's on my nightstand right next to me. So I'm like, I know I have more. I do. They're vicious games. And then I feed her to the beast and the beast is me. I'm really excited. I wish that they had kind of come up with a different title for this book, to be perfectly honest, because it's wordy. 
um, this was sent with the book. So if you like these, this is, you'll like this book, basically. That's what this is about. So, you know, that was a lot. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My three audiobooks, fifteen. And then my two thirty page that's uh, seventeen. Can I do it? I did sixteen last month. You think I can do it? I hope I can do it. Maybe I'll be able to do it. So <laughs> that's a lot. Um once again, if you want to join either of these book clubs, like if you're local, we do host it. I do host it as well um virtually weekly just as I do with this one um but if you want to come into the store you know, October 30th and I'll be there um Barnes and Noble Fort Lauderdale store number 2047 <laughs> if you want to go ahead and join um our book club for this one and then my virtual book club find a little support group I'm really excited for this one um anyway thank you all for tuning into this video um, these are all my hopefuls. Let's see, 17 books. Challenge accepted. Let's do this. Love you all. <laughs> um, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with all your book friends. And on that note, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, happy reading.